What is up, YouTube? Uh, today in GIMP, we're going to be creating uh, this space portal effect. So it's like you're sitting in a grassy field, and then you see this portal sort of open up. And it's kind of cheesy with the starburst effect, but um, <coughs> it's really simple, and uh, you can add to it to make it look better. Um, additional notes. Uh, I got a new YouTube background. So, YouTube. Um... channel new YouTube channel uh, background uh, pretty pretty sick background um, come and check it out um, might do a tutorial on how to make it but it's kind of my signature thing with the it, it's basically a bunch of gradients um, yeah uh, tell me what you think in the comments or something um, but yeah let's get back to the tutorial um, I will have both links in the description, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, you're going to have your uh, background image. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer filled in with black. Uh, click the eye so that you can't see it so it doesn't disrupt the image. Uh, you're going to go filters, distorts, blinds, and use the following settings vertical, 65, 12. Uh, if you haven't guessed, we're making the starburst effect. Um, you can click the eye on this. And then you're going to go filters, uh, distorts again, and then polar coordinates. And you're going to, um, put circle depth and percent to zero. So it's not just like a, um, earth. And then map from top into polar, um, zero offset angle and uncheck map backwards. Click OK. Alright, you'll be greeted by an image sort of like this. Um, we're going to put this layer on overlay. Uh, take our rectangular select tool, uh, select the grass, really pretty rough, um, and then just click on the image and click delete. You can select none. Uh, I'm just going to turn down the opacity bunch on this image. And you're going to go filters, uh, distorts, waves, and not by very much, but um, smear 10, 0, 10. Uh, click OK. Just get that sort of like sci-fi look into it. A little bit cheesy, but um, yeah, it's all good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a new layer. Uh, take your lip select tool, select around the middle of the image, make it a little bit bigger than that, and you're gonna take your uh, gradient tool with the gradient set on FG to transparent with black as your foreground color, and you're just gonna stroke down and stroke up and you're going to uh, make a new layer below that without don't click select none um, just make sure you don't and fill that in with black click the eye select none uh, duplicate um, one of these uh, circle layers click your move tool and um, you're just going to move it down slightly so that you have sort of like a 3D effect. It's a little bit too much. So I guess like that. That's good. Uh, you're going to put both layers at 73 opacity. That is good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up your um, text layer. Um, I mean, not your text layer, your uh, galaxy layer. So I'll be back when I do that. Just go File, Open as Layers. Alright, you will be greeted with this uh, image. You're going to alpha to selection your uh, unseen layer and you're going to click Control i and then um, you're going to find an area that looks fairly nice. So I like how that looks and you're just going to try and line it up. So you're going to um, just uh, add an alpha channel and then just click delete. You're going to select none. Um, you're going to uh, put this layer on normal, uh, duplicate it, move that layer to the top and put that layer mode on dodge and turn down the opacity a lot on that layer. Um, alpha to selection 
um, you're gonna uh, actually click the eye on this and the eye on this as well. Alpha to selection your uh, sphere layer. Click your lip select tool. Click on uh, the circle and sort of drag it down until it matches just the inside, so like the uh, 3D parts aren't selected. Click Control I and then on that click delete just so that it's perfectly lined up uh... control shift a or select none um... now what you're gonna do is you're going to uh... click the eye on both of these layers and um... alpha to selection your bottom layer click control i and then just delete on both of these select none um, make a new layer, uh, put it on top, fill this layer in with black again, the alpha to selection your black sphere, click delete, you can select none. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to go filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and use 2, 230, black, 80 opacity, and uncheck allow resizing. You don't want that. You're going to be greeted with an image sort of like this. You're going to alpha to selection your sphere again, invert the selection, and click delete on the uh, on the overlay uh, drop shadow layer. You can select none, and um, you can see it sort of has an inner shadow which uh, you like because it looks like sort of pressed in. Um, you can delete this uh, top layer. Now for a final touch, just trying to make the image look even more uh, uh, sort of more sci-fi, you're going to duplicate the original sci-fi layer, uh, galaxy layer, uh, bring it to the top, and then um, you're going to go filters, uh, distorts, filters, distorts, waves, and um, use the same settings as always. Click OK. And um, you're going to sort of have the bottoms all messed up and the sides. So um, to fix that, you just erase that. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to put the layer mode on the overlay, I believe and um, alpha to selection the sphere again invert the selection by clicking control I and then just deleting it so that you don't want the excess um, thanks uh, select none and um, either overlay or a little bit too much and it takes away from the thing so just put it on overlay and you can see how um, it sort of adds adds depth, but also it um, sort of uh, pulls the eye in with the um, waves and stuff. And I think if we put it on normal, just turn the opacity down. I think that's a little bit better. And uh, uh, we're gonna click brightness and contrast, and um, you're just gonna lower the brightness and uh, boost the contrast that looks good tone down the opacity by a little bit yeah so um that looks good uh... thank you for watching this tutorial and um, if you want a custom background um... just check out my channel and we can work something out um... it's uh... free but it uh... two subscribers um... three subscribers <laughs> so I, I don't know what i'm talking about Anyways, uh, as always, have a great day, and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial.